Alrighty then, good evening everyone, and welcome to tonight's DSGL match of Suzufu, who are currently on blue, facing off against a fistful of briefs, who are on red at the moment. Total scores for tonight are going to be 7-7 seven and seven for Suzufu, and a and for a fistful of briefs, we have 9-5, and five, giving them a slight advantage in score, but both teams are putting up amazing players at the moment. This is going to be a very close game either way. It's going to be an interesting game, an amazing game, and everything that incorporates that word that's possible. <laughs> right now, the ready-ups are busy occurring. If you're going to be watching this later when I've uploaded it to YouTube, because I'm now using XSplit, you're going to be seeing, well, the DSGL screen right now. If you're watching, not watching, yeah, if you're watching this in Source TV and listening through TeamSpeak, I recommend you look at that later, just so you can tell me your thoughts about it. I want to improve it, and I want you to like it, damn it. That's my opinion right now. So the last few ready-ups are not occurring, as apparently we're dropping people. Now I'm not even certain. For lineups tonight, we're going to be seeing the Minstrel Boy on Medic. On the opposing team, we have Corn Diddy as Medic. For Engineers tonight, we have Wade Blazon Game for Red. Or, excuse me, for Su Suzufu. For Red right now, or a fistful of briefs, we have Walter, Walter, Walter on Engineer. On the opposite side of things, we're going to go Soldiers now. For Suzufu, we're running DFG, who is Beast Mode at the moment. On the opposite side of things, we are running Above and Beyond, also known as Die. Meaning that's going to be the most interesting matchup right now for the night. Those two are both amazing soldiers, and it's going to be entertaining watching this happen. For Demoman right now, on Suzufu, we're running Ursa, also known as AIDS, I believe. Or, excuse me, AIDS is on the opposite team. That is Slaytanica. Whoopsies. In fact, on the opposite team, speaking of such, as the Red Demopan, we have How's My Driving in all caps, and or AIDS, for those who don't know him. Right now, we're running... Obviously, we're running heavies, but... For Suzufu's Heavy, we have Nuclear Russian. He plays lots of Minecraft, but apparently he plays lots of TF2 as well. He'll be rolling the Heavy out of nowhere for now. On the opposite side of things, we have Thompson's Teeth for a Fistful of Briefs. That's going to be an interesting one. So right now, as Sc Scout and or Skunt, if you prefer my definition, for Suzufu right now, we are running Cat of Fun. For a Fistful of Briefs, we're running Dropout. Which is going to be another interesting combination there. I'm, as I've seen, Counterfun is a good, um, actually a really good scout. Dropout, I've seen his in-game gameplay as scout. He's quite good there as well. Skipping down, we're going to go to, do, 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 where are we going now? We're going to go to Pyro, why not? For Suzufu right now, we are running Earless Wondercat. I haven't actually seen much of his Pyro gameplay, so it's going to be interesting to watch that. Right now, on a fistful of briefs, we are running Rincewind as Pyro. I've seen some of his Pyro gameplay. He is a moderately good Pyro. And if he's better than I think, for God's sakes, no one tell me. So right now, for Sniper, we're going to skip over Spy, because who cares about Spy, am I right? Suzufu right now, we're running Oreo Bear as Sniper. On the opposite side of things, on a fistful of briefs, we're running Binosync. Both of them are quite good snipers. That's going to be an interesting matchup. Hopefully neither of them are running Huntsman or Luxman, if you prefer. Get off my lawn, Luxman. So we're going to move on to Spy, finally, the ninth class. For Suzufu right now, we are running EXTV's Mongoose. He's mostly a support person within EXTV right now, but he has done some casting. For those who don't know him, he's quite a competent caster. So Lux, we're going to start the show. On the opposite side of things, we have Giga. For a fistful of briefs, he is once again an amazing, not amazing spy, but he's a, yes, he's a damn good spy, I take that back, I'm going to stop messing up my words. There we go, the match is live, where's my timer, my timer's missing for some reason. <laughs> right, my timer's missing, because now it's started, there we go. We're going to switch over to the actual game screen now. So yes, once again, if you are watching via TeamSpeak, I recommend that you check out the video later, just because why not, am I right? <laughs> So we're going to be watching the rollout right now. Isn't much of a rollout, actually. There's not far you can go out of the red spawn. Still wondering where the engineer is going to be doing things. A nice sticky trap on the ledge by the point. Hey, anchors. There you go, Cal. 
So you're actually going to be on here? Alrighty then. Forgot that Zambler was... Okay, there's an echo that I hear. That is my fault. Okay, I'll just try to work my way through it. Okay, that's much better, actually. Excellent. Zambler is TeamSpeak admin, so I forgot about that. Here I am. Yeah, in this case, B is probably going to be the entertaining one. B cuts off access to E for blue team, and that is the major distraction for A. If you cut off access to E, you can effectively hold A the entire game. But yes, with no sentry at A, it's going to be harder to hold than B, because not many people are going to be going to B for that matter. So here we go, it looks like the standard everything going on here. Heavy Medic going to go off the ledge right into that sticking trap, which got detonated, so it's no longer there. It looks like um, the red team strategy is just to throw away A. And here comes the Uber. Yeah, counter Uber goes down on red at the moment. That's going to be an interesting gameplay. Medic is going to get taken out here, but Heavy does take out the scout. Uber coming on back to take out that Heavy. Unfortunately, Uber runs out. Soldier gets disconnected. He goes down. Heavy... Nuclear Russian coming around the corner now. He's going to walk up there. See, so yeah, it looks like this is an easy throwaway of A at the moment. Go ahead. Now, here's... Well, no, this is actually pretty good. There are six members of Red Team down, so they'll respawn just in time for Blue to come over, and then they'll defend the base. Unless... Okay. Yeah, they're only Let's respawning... Develops. They're only respawning three, and all of Blue is coming over to B at the moment. With a 35% Uber advantage. 30% now. It looks like those last three members now respawning, coming over to B. Blue actually is not dropping down yet. They're going to go to E, actually. Yeah, that's safe. They don't know if there's stickies underneath drop down. That was a preset play. Yep, that's actually a really smart decision going around to the back of B instead, where sentries usually aren't quite covering. Um, it looks like... That's a really odd place for a sentry. Uh, either you want more aggressive, so it covers all entrances from there or farther back even in the corner by the fence so you can just wrangle it from a distance right but at this point it's about to die anyway engineer is down so here comes that blue uber the one that had that major advantage we'll see if corn dog gets taken out here heavy jumps around the corner corn dog is forced back but the door's not open he can easily get picked off and heavy's gonna do just that corn dog goes down with that uber a very strong play by sun Tzu. Um, that strategy did not work out for a fistful of briefs. It did not. That was an utter failure. So it looks like B is going to be easily captured here, and we're going to move on to C. Of course, after C, E is basically completely available for capture, but it might not be the best decision in Highlander just to do that. Uh, kind of fun only has three points, but he's doing a great job of harassing. He's going on E whenever he can, so um, Red has to think twice about who's going to go back and defend E. Yeah, that's pretty much what scouts are here for. They're here for harassment, and capturing E is... Well, it's going to take a long time. He could technically do that if he just stood there and took the time to do it. Right now he's going to get taken off the point by that other scout. He might actually burn to death. And... No, he grabs that. No, red team needs to hold this point if they want to win. Yeah, they really need to hold C, but they're setting up the sentry on E right now. Blue's first two caps are way too quick. Yeah, they're, they desperately need to hold on to C here. If they let C go, E can be captured easily by all classes. And unfortunately, with a large amount of time, right now it's 8 minutes and 30 seconds, that should add up to 10, actually. Catafun going huge! Yeah, Catafun's being a <laughs> dodge king right there, saying nope. And getting the mech pick. And then getting the demo pick. And then killing everything. <laughs> Let's see if you can get this heavy, He's actually. The heavy. Yeah, let's yeah, see if you can get Thompson's... Thompson Bino stops the streak. Yeah, right there with that sniper bullet. Thompson's is forced off the point though, opening it up to Ursa or Slaytanica for those who prefer. Minstrel should not be that aggressive. He should never be the only guy on the point. <laughs> Especially when the rest of the red team is busy respawning. Also, I love that Slaytanica has renamed himself Ursa. <laughs> And he is technically fighting against... I don't know what he's fighting against at the moment, but yeah, that's a nice quote there. Oh, he's not fighting against DFG. He's on the same team as DFG, isn't he? Sorry? <laughs> I kind of zoned out. I was watching 
Uh, have a, if you guys want to watch from a, a single perspective, Dai is having a fantastic game so far. Yeah, we're mo I'm mostly skipping around because hey, why not? <laughs> yeah. So right now, Cat of Fun back on the point, looking for not really the cap, just more harassment here. Drotty Soldier above and beyond goes down to DFG. <laughs> Rincewind trapped by the sentry. Oh, that's that's bad. Yeah, and we're down four now with 20-second respawns for a fistful of briefs, and only one, and that's the spy for Suzu right now. Not looking too good. So C's going to go easily here at seven-minute mark, unless some miraculous thing occurs, which it almost does. <laughs> so yeah, now we're at the ten-minute mark to capture E or D, and if they capture D, they're way in the lead, because that'll seal off E and say, hey, free E. <laughs> Well, Corn Diddy has the uh, Uber advantage. Oh, did he swap out? Or he's always been medic. Like, uh, yeah, that's probably right. So right now, Thompson's teeth desperately defending the channel between C and D, as it looks like lots of blue is currently filtering right through there. There, Demoman, how's my driving? Actually got blown up coming out of the spawn door by a sticky trap. Just trying to look for a teleporter. Okay, good. The blue engineer's moving it. That's absolutely crucial for... Oh, wait, he's just moving a sentry up. It's kind of hard to attack across the red spawn here. Um, it's best to place the teleporter at A, even in pubs. Yeah. Pushing into D is always the better decision, because you're not next to red spawn, and they can't easily run right back in and grab health. The thing with the teleporter at A um, is that you can walk in and you can attack both E and D at the same time. Or <laughs> alternate. It's easier to attack at the same time than defend. Yeah. That sounds like how's my driving? Charging right <laughs> off a cliff. Corn Diddy running back up to his heavy. He got disconnected for a moment there. They are running quite a large Uber advantage at the moment, though. And by quite a large, I mean 70%. <laughs> Rinsman needs to find a role. Oh, wow. Oh, poor Corn Diddy getting taken out by DFG there. That was a nice pick. Corndog is just not getting any breaks. No, at the moment he is not. On the opposite side of things right now, for the menstrual boy, I've seen Uber after Uber for him. He's being quite... Well, he was offensive on C, but he's being a little bit more reserved now, chasing after his demo and being protected by Heavy. As they go through C and D right here, they're going to take a Heavy demo right by their spawn. So let's see if this takes red... I as surprised as they should be. Nope. As Dropout comes out the door and finds a sticky trap there. Red now knows they're coming, but it doesn't matter. They hop on D and, well, what red team? There's no one here. Mongoose just had a fantastic sidestab. Uh, he's, he's playing pretty well. He's a good spy. As well as we can expect him to at the moment, because they're about to lose D, which is... No, they're not. They're not about to lose D. They're about to capture D, excuse me. So anyway, there's the Uber coming in. Unfortunately, counter Uber's not ready, so that's going to be a free everything right there. Sentry goes down. We're about to see Mongoose. No, Mongoose actually doesn't get backstabbed by the other spy. Instead, he gets headshot by Binosync. That's a bit unfortunate. So here we go. D reacts here. Not D, but Red reacts here, and they're pushing onto the point. Blue trying to get up that level 3 over by that door. Go on. That will be such an annoying blue sentry. Oh yeah, facing right on to E, pretty much cutting off their support of E as such. So here we go, Blue hopping on E right here. They've already taken out the sentry and they've got support on the upper area, so they have free roam right here. Heavy's going to push forward and just cut off access to E. Unfortunately, holy shit, big play from above and beyond there. Yeah, Trailblazer and above and beyond, coming and saying hi. I mean, die, I mean, above and beyond, he's, wow. And then from below, we see, how's my driving gang? Some nice sticky kills, just lobbing them onto that point. That was a nice play by them there. So yeah, right now, that teleporter for blue getting shoved up even further. I'm not even sure where it is at the moment. Where's that teleporter? <laughs> As we attempt to fish out the teleporter, which appears to be nowhere. <laughs> All of red really came together to stop that. I thought it was over, but this could be it, actually. Yeah, that was really interesting there. So that teleporter is now up above C, in between E and C. So yeah, there we go. That is a lot of players on the point at the moment. Indeed, it apparently always was. I just didn't realize it. 
So yeah, this looks like it'll be it unless Red manages to pull off a miracle, but there's no flanking and there's no one from blow. Actually, here comes Dai once again. He goes for the big jump. He actually takes out the heavy there. Another nice, nice play there. But still, it's only two, and they've got a pyromedic on the point, and the spies is wreaking havoc at the moment. Rincewind gets headshot, and that looks like that'll be it unless this medic pulls off a miracle. Yeah, the demo really needs to stay alive to defend that point. He can do quite a bit. Yeah, no miracles will occur there, setting the stopwatch time at 10.01, which, if I'm not correct, is actually a pretty fast time for Steel. Well, you know, it seemed fast. I don't really know the times for this one. It's, it's it's okay time on payload, I think. Yeah. But I really don't know for this one. Steel... Steel's weird. Steel can take a while. It depends if Red successfully defends a point, because points can be easily defended on Steel. So once again, we're going to watch the rollout of Red, which looks like they're going to be doing the same thing that Blue did. Uh, since that was such a quick capture time, maybe, just maybe, Blue will try to go to E first. I'll have to watch for that. Well, Red is setting up the sentry at B instead of A, so if they do try to go around, they're going to run right into a level 3 sentry that'll alert Red instantly. It means I'm kind of a standard rollout here, only some stickies getting... Where are those stickies? Where is he laying those stickies? Uh, Red's trying a slightly different sentry location at B. They seem to like the B defense. <laughs> right now... Right now, Ursa is lobbing stickies into Blue's spawn. <laughs> He is lobbing them over the building at full power. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. So there we go, Uber is and popped. Here comes the Uber. Yeah, it is going to come right over that ledge. There's no one to stop him with this pyro, and the pyro misses the air blast he needed to get so badly. Counter Uber is there, so Heavy will easily go down. Ooh. Good spam from above from Trailblazers, but it just wasn't enough. That wasn't coordinated. No, they're down Except five. They're down five at the moment, so this push is going to fail easily. Now it's up to uh, a fistful of briefs to regroup in their spawn and get ready for another push onto A. Red Engineer is still set up quite easily over in B. He's not even... Well, he is watching the sentry, but he's not caring so much. Bono wins the Super Duel. Gets revenge on Oreo Bear. DFG declaring Roar of the Lion. <laughs> so here we go, another push coming in here from a fistful of briefs. They come over the cliff. He almost gets the extinguish on the heavy. He comes back for another extinguish. He actually does manage to flare crit, nuclear Russian. So that's a lot of blue on the point at the moment. <laughs> Oreo Bear was hoping for the Jurati, then Bushwhacker on the Medic. Didn't quite work out. Nope. But that's a lot of blue, so it's going to be an easy cap of A at the moment, pushing on to B, which is guarded by that level 3. No, no. That was an important stab by Mongoose. Um, Red just sort of jumped onto A, trying to defend it, but all blue team is there. So this buys them some time. But that's... They just lost the level 3 for B, and the engineer just got stabbed by... Da -da -da, what is his name? I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> by Giga, excuse me. And now we see, okay. we see Walter, Walter, Walter rolling out here, and he has that level 3. He's carrying it out. Oh, that's going to be so annoying when wrangled. Mongoose is going to... Here oh. comes the red by. Mongo's coming in here. He's looking to go for the stab. Engineer is easily revealing his back. He backs into the corner, though, so it gets, he has no choice but to sap it and try and get out of there. But that worked well because they focus the sentry pretty quickly. Yeah, sentry's gone now. Blue going to try for another push here. Soldier is forced back deep in the red. 19 HP. Dropout goes down. Fantastic play by the pyro. Forces the uber. Oh, yeah, so here we go. We're going to see Ursa coming in here, or Slaytanica. His Uber runs out, and he is now dueling aids at the moment. Blue teams do regroup and use their Uber advantage to make a big push. Well, yeah, or... the medic just got taken out, so... <laughs> or, you know, aid could just go huge. That's the alternative. <laughs> it seems like the alternative's working well right now. They've got a soldier medic on the point being joined by a sniper, and they've got a demo by the spawn door sticky trapping it, so I think that's a free capture of B. 
place an obvious scheme from the door. So yeah, there are six minutes and 30 seconds left to capture all three remaining points, or E. Or just E, technically. So we're going to try and defend C here. That sentry location um, by Red, once it's seen, it'll be easily destroyed by Devilman. Yep, lob sticky's right over the fence. Bye-bye, sentry. Uber comes in, though. So Thompson's teeth coming in here with his medic corn dog, or corn diddy if you prefer. He's pushing right up here. Sentry is shooting him, but he doesn't even care. <laughs> or Uber with tunnel vision there. Ah, it's tunnel vision snipers. Gotta love them. Interesting. FG with the buff banner. <laughs> you don't see that very often. The blue sentry is set up on E at the moment in the red sentry's regular position. That is a really smart play, actually. The only problem is it can't really watch that resupply door right there. So it's going, it's going to need Rincewind's support if it wants to stay up after C is captured. Unfortunately, C in the meantime isn't getting captured. Red putting up a very nice defense here. Rocket Jumping Soldier goes up there. So that level 3 is now up in the same place. We already know it's going to be easily taken out unless he Wrangler repairs it and waits for the demo to get massacred. They use a Uber just to get rid of... Wow, Dropout. Sorry, just lost my train of thought. Amazing play by Dropout. There was a snipe on the heavy, and then Dropout took a medic. <laughs> that is actually pretty incredible. Now five players down, well, just two respond. Um, blue sh They should they push! To make onto the point. Yeah. Level 3's down as well, so they really should. Or no, I'm sorry, it's not down, he's just moving it back. Demo down, that's a huge pick. Well, the sentry's still there. At least they know where it is. Yeah, he moved it back as a precautionary thing, but where is that demo? There is not that demo. I'm sorry, the demo's down below. Aid's gonna pop his head out and say, bye-bye, sentry. <laughs> Boom with the little old sentry one day. Heavy gets headshot, so point is perfectly open right now. A sentry down, trailblazer with four dominations. Not too shabby. Or above and beyond, or die if you prefer. Yeah. Because he wants you to die. Rocket spam going down on the point. Down four at the moment for Suzu. Ninety percent Uber. Heavy shouldn't get this aggressive, not when they're so close. Okay, now he can get aggressive. <laughs> get as aggressive as you want, Heavy. I've got an Uber. <laughs> he didn't get flashed, though. There were two guys in danger. Soldier jumps up and lobs some rockets next to Red Spawn, but counter Uber is popped here, and they're coming right in. Unfortunately, he gets separated from his medic. There we go. Medic reconnects at the last moment as some stickies get lobbed onto him. He does take out How's My Driving or AIDS. Down three at the moment for a fistful of, uh, yeah, a fistful of briefs. Down three at the moment for Suzu. Pretty even, actually, but a lot of respawning going on here. So at the moment, we pretty much have three players on C for blue, and one of them is the Engineer, and he's pulling back desperately as he almost got stickied out. He's still got grenades on him, though. He almost does get taken out, and the Sentry's dangerously low. Yeah, the Sentry does get taken out by DFG with a huge jump there. Scout and DFG and... Uh, Ursa, all up there, lobbing spam right into that choke point, which is not where you want to be at the moment. Blue only has 2 minutes 40 seconds. That's not a lot of time. No, and C is being... And the teleporter goes down as well as their heavy. That's not good. The Spencer goes down as well. They really have to focus E if they can't capture C, because right now C is being really well defended by Red. Okay, now Blue's starting the split push. This is smart. Uh, they're going to put a guy on E, and hopefully too much of their team goes to defend E. The others can push the other direction. They are taking their soldier off, as well as their engineer. The demo is around in D at the moment, so they're not actually putting that much aggression. Heavy is on E now as well. They are, they're pretty much putting no aggression on C, actually. <laughs> e is very difficult to capture right now because the ramps aren't out. Yeah, that's the problem. They needed to capture C, and they failed miserably. Now they're diverting a lot of their forces to capturing E, which means they're not going to be capturing C anytime soon, unless Red diverts literally their whole team. This could be the beginning of the end. 
depending on how huge AIDS goes. Yeah, it depends here. I mean, Blue's doing a nice job. They they put their whole team on it, so they do have a pretty good advantage here with E. They're already over halfway capped. Heavy goes down. Right now, AIDS is really winning this for his team. <laughs> kills a Heavy, kills a Sniper. Yeah, AIDS is really winning this right now. They, they get off E, though. For the second time. They can't get off E at the moment. They need to stay on E. Their scout goes down. That is the cap power they needed right there. So really, the soldier and the demo are the only ones left to cap it, and the demo is busy spamming, and the soldier is nowhere to be found, so this might be backfiring quickly if Red... Red is respawning in waves here. Four up. It's really up to Die right now. Die really needs to stay on that point, and his demo is still in there spamming, but he's about to... He might be about to go down. Sniper is now focusing on AIDS, who is hiding. Sticky spam going down. Soldier gets knocked <laughs> off. He is dangerously low. D uh, AIDS goes down. Die is deep in the red. Die comes down. Pyro coming down. Unfortunately, there's no one on the point. Scout is nowhere to be seen. Yeah, dropout kind of fell off the cliff. Yeah, once again, <laughs> Scout respawning again. Die respawning as well. Demo just respawned. And there's 10 seconds left, so I think we can safely say that is GG, unless the Scout can really reach mid. <laughs> Actually, I don't even think you can capture it that quickly, so that is... You can't. That is GG, so... First round will go to... Well, I don't even know who's going to win this. <laughs> I guess it's red, technically. And or Suzu. Yep, it's stopwatch, so that's one round towards Suzu-Fu. <laughs> Suzu-Fu. Yeah. So we're going to go on to halftime here, which isn't even technically halftime. I guess if it's only two rounds, it's halftime, but you never know. Could be a best of three. Die has changed his name to actual beast mode. <laughs> <laughs> he only had five dominations last round. He needs to go huger. Yeah, five dominations, not enough. So, Rincewind needs to find a role. Usually in Highlander, the role of the Pyros, air blast Ubers away, uh, sort of protect the medic. Being that same combo is heavy. Yeah, right now he's being a roaming pyro, which isn't so good. Yeah, not really working out for him, especially when he runs into a level 3 sentry. But on the other hand, Earless Wondercat, um, he's low scoring too, but the scores don't really tell the story for pyros. If you're airbrows and away ubers, you're being credit to team, but you're not actually getting any points, so it's more complicated than that. Yep, so... At the moment, Suzu doing a nice job of defending. Unfortunately, a fistful of briefs having problems defending. Their engineer fell down way too quickly. In fact, we, that's what we see commonly, is engineers falling down way too quickly. Yeah, they're both not using the Wrangler quickly enough. Uh, there's a sort of an art to find engineer. And it's, if you're doing it right, it's really stressful. Uh, because you bring out your Wrangler, put out the shield, uh, hit it with your wrench, and alternate between the two. And... Yeah, you can take a lot of damage, but it requires a lot of stress, I think. <laughs> yeah, at the moment we see lots of... Uh, I'm not sure what you say. That's oh, right, we see lots of engineers dying on B very quickly. <laughs> and of course the name change is now going down. <laughs> the inventor of <laughs> beast mode and or DFG is now facing off against actual beast mode. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Oh, <laughs> Come at me, bro, being declared by the inventor of beast mode. You know, so far, I think actual beast mode is winning the battle over inventor of beast mode. Yeah, score definitely agrees there. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> is there a bottom fragger yelling at me from way down there somewhere? <laughs> See, it looks like we're... Yes doing the spawn room pep talks right now. We might One see thing the... I know is Thompson's teeth, uh, he's in weird positions once in a while, he just takes too much damage out there. Um, I think all of Red needs to be a bit more coordinated, all of a Fistful of Reefs needs to be a bit more coordinated with the Ubers and such. Yeah, we saw the Ubers usually being the lone wolves alone on the point, saying, HELP ME! <laughs> And once again, Inventor calling out actual beast mode here. Calling him a pansy who hides behind his medic.
There, it looks like the reddies are finally going down for red team here. Unfortunately, we don't actually see any reddies going down for blue. <laughs> <sighs> I, I love this trash talk. Trash talk, it makes the world go round! And DFG deserves all the trash talk he can get. I think Hungry would agree with me on this. <laughs> Pep talk's taking a while, apparently. Oh, bathroom breaks. Well, I guess that's true. Could be doing lots of that. Apparently there's been some dispenser detonations in blue spawn. The parts are now laying around so unhappily. So red team is now ready to go. Blue is still being slow, but we allowed them to be slow. It's halftime. There we go. Long goose is okay. So it looks like we're going to get this show back on the road. Match beginning in 15 seconds. My bad, it was Mitchell. <laughs> so let's see if they use the same B sentry location as before. Um, the B defense didn't work out for either team really, and I think it was all because the sentry went down too early. If they place it a bit farther away and wrangle it, um, I think they'll have a bit more luck. But no, we see um, a fistful of briefs place in the century about where it was last time. Yeah, not sure that's the smartest decision. I mean, I'm not even sure putting the century at B is the smartest decision. It stops people from going to E, but what we've seen is just A, A, A the entire time. We haven't seen anyone actually trying to ninja E. No, it's not first to stop ninja's E. Um, if you want to stop ninja, ninja E, you can just place a, a demo man at E point. Oh, and oh my god, what are we seeing here? What are we seeing here? Ursa has a crit! Has a crit He's lobbing stickies over the building into their spawn. <laughs> Ursa going for a little pre-game destruction there. I'm not even sure we can call that an exploit. But crit's creaking stickies over the building into their spawn. <laughs> Didn't work out though. He did miss. Here we go. Uber comes in. Lots of players coming over that ledge. Uber coming up right behind the heavy. Heavy goes down. Unfortunately, Red Medic gets left alone. He goes down as well. Red Team has got... The Red Team... Oh, oh my god, what am I watching here? Good job, Rinsman. Caused so much chaos. Red Team just got completely dominated there. Holy shit, they're down 8 out of 9. <laughs> the only guys alive are the guys who weren't in the fight. Uh, depending <laughs> on where the soldier... Okay, he just responded. Yeah, yeah, the only person who was alive was the engineer at B, who now is wrangling his sentry desperately and about to get stabbed. And they know the demo's dead, so they can go oh. through drop-down. Spy's gonna go for the sniper, oh, but he runs into the sniper, so sniper is gonna draw to him. Draw to chop. Goodbye, sniper. Great folks on the sentry. Yeah, sentry went down very quickly. You can try putting it back up, though. That's not gonna work so well. Uh, Thompson's teeth out of position again. Corndog has the uber advantage, but they don't have the people alive to use it. Well, maybe the heavy will get back there in time. Yes, he will. So here we go. 100%. We're lacking 20% for Suzu at the moment. Took 40 seconds for the first point, so let's see how long B can take. Level 2 is back up, but it's not getting defended. It gets spammed down quickly. Same rule as always. You gotta support that engineer if you want him to live. Uh, smart play by die. He used a splash damage off the wall to damage the engineer. He wasn't really going for the sentry, he was going for the engineer. Well, let's see. Uh, uh, Thompson's teeth out of position. <laughs> he sacrifice, sacrifices himself to save his medic. Yeah. When you gotta wrangler the sentry, that's what you gotta do. You gotta kill the engineer first and say, I'll kill you later, sentry. Engineer's gotta die first. Oh, spy comes in for the stab, misses it terribly, gets taken out again. Poor Giga just getting no stabs here. Bino's trying to be a superhero with his short-range snipes. <laughs> so here we go. A fistful of briefs pushing in here. Sticky's getting spammed, but that is still plenty of Suzu to stop them. 
Sentry trying to go up, but he gets taken out instantly. Nuclear Russian goes down, so that is their heavy and demo down. I think we can easily say B is lost here. This is some good pressure by Thompson's teeth. Gaining territory. Yeah, just slowly inching forward. His medic is actually nowhere to be. There he is. He's a little bit farther back. Heavy's going to get some heals here. Oreo Bear gets taken out trying to be a hero. Oh, great stab by Mongoose. That might have saved the point. Might have. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's still a lot of players on it. We're down five at the moment for Suzu. So Mr. Boy has Uber. He does Sorry, pop it. it. Where is Mr. Boy? <laughs> there he is. Uber comes out, but B's already captured. So that is basically a wasted Uber. Nothing's going to even happen there. How's my driving just respawning? Pyro deep in the red for blue, but he just picked up the health pack, so he's fine. <laughs> Dropout could not land a hit to save his life. Literally. <laughs> so here we go. They're going to push right over to C as the soldier Pyro are down for red. Level 2 sentry is up. Giga looking for some stabs. He's hiding in the corner. You're breathing very loudly. Oh, sorry. So intense. <laughs> So here we go, Red. Sometimes I forget to breathe, and then I breathe louder. <laughs> so right now, Red doing a nice job of defending. Their Heavy and Spire are both down, but they don't care. They're just going to defend the per point perfectly. They're engineering the same place as the last time. I still don't agree with this sentry position so much. It gets easily destroyed by demo spam, but this is where we apply the theory of you defend the engineer, and usually he stays alive for longer than two seconds. So it looks like they're trying to set a really early time here. They've got Detonator Pyro on the point. No Scout, no Soldier, no Demo, though. Soldier's right up ahead is trying to spam like AIDS was earlier. Detonator Pyro, that's a great idea. Detonate onto the point, air blast everything away. Though he won't be able to do much against that Heavy's minigun. No, he needs to get out of there now if he wants to live. Actually, he's going to get taken out by the Scout Cat of Fun first. Nice play there by Cat of Fun. He's going to jump around the corner and go after the Medic? Yeah, he doesn't quite get the Medic, though. Thompson Steve does take him out. Sticky Trap on point, going to be easily taken out by Thompson's Teeth. It looks like they're trying for an E-capture here. Unfortunately, Red now reinforcing the point. They need to focus on C now. Lots of Red has been distracted from C. Unfortunately, Thompson's Teeth... a really teeth. bad decision, in my opinion. Um, those ramps are really important to capture an E. Yeah, they keep focusing on E, but they do have a player on C. That's the good part. Soldier comes up, though. So it looks like that won't be happening. Sentry, the Spencer gets spammed down, but Sentry's still perfectly fine. This is the part where you need to support that engineer, and they do just that as AIDS gets taken out. So that Sentry should be fine. The Sentry does watch the point, so that is going to be a very strong position, actually, as long as the Demoman's not there to kill it. Just want to throw this out there. Uh, inventor of Beast Mode, 3 points. Actual Beast Mode, 13 points. Just throwing that out there. We're not going to pay attention to that. <laughs> He's the inventor <laughs> of beast shot. mode. So here we go. Heavy medic coming up on in here. Some rocket spam going down into that choke point. They're going to push up here a bit too early, though. They're only at 50% Hooper, so why are you pushing it all, Heavy? Well, right at the moment, Red's medic, Minstrel Boy, is dangerously low. He was at 16 HP. Yeah, 0% now. Not so good for Corndog there. Already rebuilding. A fistful of reefs needs to regroup. Yeah, they're getting really spread out now. They're trying to capture E and C at the same time. This is a problem in every type of game, actually. When Sun Tzu Zhu, Fu, is... <laughs> uh, when Red Team Scout is top fragging, you know you're kind of scattered. He's taken advantage of the openings way too much. Giga going for the saps there. He will not get any of it. <laughs> so we see Red's Demoman pushing forward here by quite a bit. Ursa going to flank them at E, actually. Sticky Spam going down. Oh, the Heavy doesn't... I mean, the heavy, the heavy knows he's there, but he's not paying attention to that fact. Soldier Demo Duel coming down here. Oh, but Medic gets flanked by a Heavy! That was an 
That was that was a good ambush by a heavy. You don't see good ambushes by heavies very often, but that was a good ambush. <laughs> and then he immediately gets spammed down by Ursa E being captured once again, but see nowhere near getting captured. Soldier on E. I'm surprised they're still trying for capturing E at all. Capturing it for the Pyro is the smartest decision because the Pyro can't really contribute too much on C. Unfortunately, the Soldier can. They need to get the Soldier on C if they want to cap that. Spam going down on C. That Soldier about to get spammed down. He gets out of there at the last moment with a nice jump. He's actually running away from his medic who's desperately saying, Come here! Come here! He's at 9 health. Don't blame him. Running for his life. If he didn't stop, that rocket would have clipped him. Well, he kept running, though, and he was safe. <laughs> what the hell, Ace? Is this a sneak up on their entire team? Sounds like AIDS. Magically appearing out of nowhere. So we're trying for this e-capture again, but now they're, they're not applying any pressure to C. That's not the smart decision in this case when you have three minutes left to capture the point. They don't have three minutes left. No, this is... Uh, they're trying to set a time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently the inventor of Beast Mode did just kill actual Beast Mode, so... Ursa still laying down some sticky traps. Spy checking on E. Red is now pretty much focused on defending E, actually. So C, they've got someone on C, that means the sentry is down, because that sentry regularly watches C. Nope, no, you're he's hiding. Nope. <laughs> he's hiding behind that shield, very nice. Yeah, that wasn't going to work. They need to organize somehow. They need to do something. Sticky's going down on the sentry. Sentry is dangerously low, but it's still up. He didn't have the right angle. He got to damage both the sentry and the engineer at the same time if you want to take it down. Well, you can or lay... place three stickies, yeah. Yeah. But then he'll wrangle. Unless he's not Ideally. paying attention. That engineer has been having a lot of free time, so he might not be paying too much attention for the wrangler. So Red Team now defending C once again, no longer being distracted by E, so now now C is well defended and E is completely alone. <laughs> this is like some weird juggling game. Dropout's trying to take on the world, but it's not working out. Yeah, he hops on E temporarily. Red already pushes him off the windswind out of nowhere, trying to take out Inventor of Beast Mode. Unfortunately, that fails miserably. E, not being captured. C, not being captured. Not looking good here. Dropout took on part of the world and worked out. Red's medic drops. Now let's see if Corn Diddy can use this Uber. We bring the demo in to take out the sentry. I hope. I don't even think they're gonna pop the... Yeah, there they do! They pop the Uber. Spam going down. They get the three down. Boom, win everything. This is their opening for C. They've got the soldier up there throwing rockets. They've got the sniper and demo on the point. Pyro coming... They're trying to flank. He gets taken out, though. He actually does take out Corn Diddy, though. Okay, Blue will get this point unless something goes horribly, horribly wrong. I mean, they've got sticky traps on Spawn Door. It can't really go horribly wrong anymore. See, it looks like they will manage this to capture C. Yeah, but we have to remember, look at that stopwatch time now. 11 minutes and 17 seconds for three points. While they have just extended the bridges to E, now Red is focusing on D and E, which are both very close to each other. They're going to hop the soldier on it almost immediately. He almost gets killed by the sentry, actually. So he's going to get out of there. Red a little bit out of position. They're going to from C to E with their demo medic and soldier. So we're going to see the demo medic kind of flanking back by D now. See, our red now is successfully cutting off the connection from A to D and E. Sticky spam and medics, good for health. <laughs> yeah, that connection to A is going to be really important to defend. That's the best way to attack. Yeah, they and don't have teams know it. They don't have that teleporter up yet, so that's why they didn't control that connector in the first place. Ouch! 
Ouch. Poor Walter, Walter, Walter goes boom. Getting taken out by Ursa. Uber goes down for red, though. It is on the inventor of beast mode. He does take out actual beast mode in that scenario. Also gets revenge on a couple players. He's chasing after the scout. Not the smartest decision. His medic leaves him. Takes out the level 1 sentry. Returns back to E. E's still being poorly left alone. Oh, he gets taken out by dropout. Dropout versus soldier. Dropout wins. <laughs> Uh-oh, blue team is scattered once again. They're split up. Um, Giga gets a nice ambassador headshot there on Ursa. Paras at spawn, soldiers at E. Uh, Heavy is now at C. Uh, Medic demo are passing by red spawn. They're all scattered. Every this player is team. everywhere. And Bynosin gets taken out by nuclear Russian. And then AIDS tries to take on the world. That's what AIDS exists for. He does a damn good job, too. Yeah, he does that. <laughs> Actual beast mode taking out the sentry. Giga going to come in here for the stab. Medic. Oh, but the heavy season coming, so Giga not going to get it. D is being captured, though, and Uber is popped on E. It's completely out of position at the moment. They need to stop the capture of D. Thompson C does get taken out, and there's no blue players anywhere nearby. Nearest one is going to be uh, Rincewind in the connection from A to D. He's getting forced back, though, so D easily going to be held here. They have one minute left to capture D or E. E not going to be easy. They've got the level 2 back up. He needs to repair that, though. Unfortunately, he gets taken out by actual beast mode. That's just sad. Okay, finally, blue is going for E. The problem is they're splitting their forces here. They're, they had someone on D for a few moments there. I mean, that's not going to work. <laughs> oh, Soldier Inventor of Beast Mode hops off of E into the pit. That is one way to kill you. <laughs> that was a pretty huge kill by Catafun onto Corn Diddy. Well, you have to remember, uh, back. They do actually, if they get on E, they go into overtime after the 30 seconds. That is true, yeah. They can technically... seven players down. If they can technically get on it, they can technically cap it. The actual timer is not a stopwatch. Stopwatch automatically stops you when it runs out, but actual timer will go into overtime. That's a very good point. They're on both points at once. Not a good decision! You can't split your forces on steel. So Thompson's teeth about to go down on D? No, he gets reinforced and the soldier gets taken out! He does go out, but actual beast mode going against the world. He's equalizing out of there. He grabs the health pack. Scout being a great distraction. He's going to come back here and go after Nuclear Russian. Nuclear Russian goes down. <laughs> it is Die versus the Medic. Die just going everywhere right now. Unfortunately, that's overtime, so D is lost, and that is G. No! He is lost. No. There we go. It doesn't matter anyway. That is GG, and the rocket goes off, setting a time of 11 minutes and 17 seconds for three points. Uh, Drabo jumped as he jumped, got on the point. Level 1 sentry knocked him out. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. unfortunate. Yeah. So here we go, another setup time. We'll see what they're going to do here. We're going to see the engineer setting up in the exact same place as usual. <laughs> I think Sun Fu should just attack E. Straight off. Because it would be funny. It'd be an interesting maneuver, especially... I mean, they've got 11 minutes and 17 seconds to capture three points. They've got plenty of time. <laughs> but, you know, they're probably going to go the safe route and just capture three points quicker. They need to capture three points quicker than their time. Yeah, which is where I feel that putting the sentry on B is not the smartest decision, actually. Putting it on A at least gives you some survivability. <laughs> they're hoping they can defend B again, which hasn't worked except he's taken out his wrangler so that's a good sign <laughs> great play by dfg great jump over the century great two rockets just great uh, see so yeah, a century's already Very down got a fun nice job taking out rinse when there jumps over the head of the pyro and shoots him while going over that was a nice play there Cat being a dodge king at the moment. A little scout be scout action happening in this hallway. Cat gets forced back. He bonks and is out of there. We were popped on A by red team. Giga going to go for some headshots on nuclear. Doesn't even have the chance. He's still looking for some headshots. He cloaks again with that. Um, with the cloak and dagger just hiding in the corner. This is the headshot on the demo. 
keeps trying anyway as his scout gets taken out. So we do see someone on E at the moment. Apparently whoever it was is off. I believe that was... Uh, oh, but, uh, God, I can't remember his name. Uh, that was Cataphonic, excuse me. Oh, nice pick there. Nice pick by Mongoose taking out the enemy medic. That was a very nice pick. So at the moment, Suzufu has free uber advantage by a long shot. I hope Suzu isn't getting too relaxed. This is the longest time they've taken to take this point. Yeah. They are being pretty relaxed about but they did just do a pretty much full team wipe right there on a fistful of briefs. That's true. So okay, it should be Uber. it should so be a free cap of A. And apparently B is clear as well, so it might just be a free cap of B as well. B is being reinforced. Mongoose gonna go in for the stab on the sniper. He flubs it! Oh. Gets Gerardi, he's about to get taken out by the Pyro. That is unfortunate. And he is gone. Poor Mongoose. So yeah, A is captured and they have nine minutes to capture three points. They're gonna push through a to E? <laughs> yeah, they don't want to go through drop down. It's set play. Okay, that's right. I thought they were going to try and capture E for a moment. I'm like, what? I don't know, that'd be an interesting play, actually, to try and capture E at this point. That would be very <laughs> yeah, weird. That's what some teams do. Once that door from A to E is open, it's just so much easier to capture E. You don't have to go through B at all. You can spawn camp those spawn doors with a sentry and, yeah, place a pyro, a soldier, and a scout on the point. Sentry goes down. Sticky Trap does take out Ursa as he walks right on the Sticky Trap. Heavy Medic is taken out. It's up to these three players on the point. They're getting spammed by rockets, but if they stay on the point, yes, Sniper will get the cap there. Oreo Bear being the hero. He gets taken out promptly, though. Yeah, AIDS was trying to do as much damage as he could, but it just wasn't enough. So there are eight minutes left to capture one point. <laughs> Not looking so good at the moment. And Sun Tzu, are they going for... No, they aren't. I thought they could capture two points at once. But that would just be crazy. The famous two capture, one, capture two points at one time theory. It always doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> well, not so far. <laughs> Mongoose going to try and take out the Engineer. He gets bumped in the corner. The Engineer doesn't realize it. Oh, my God. But almost runs on the Sticky Trap. Doesn't get it de detonated. He's going to go after the Medic now. He walks over the Sticky Trap. Saps the Engineer, but the Pyro is there. And he's got no Trick Stab up his sleeve this time, so he's down. In the meantime, E being captured. Bad place for a Sentry. Not going to be up and long, long enough to build. Oh, oh, poor... Poor... The sniper just needs a fully charged shot on the sentry to take it down. Inventor of Beast Mode tries to hop off the point in the red with the, um, with the Great Escape. Instead, he falls down by missing his jump, almost falls into the pit, and then gets spammed and killed. <laughs> spy coming up. Blue Spy. Okay, he's gone. And we've seen some interesting plays by Mongoose. He's been doing some good plays. Giga's down in the meantime. Level 3 is up for Red on the point. This is a new position for them. Spy's going to come in and get burned immediately. So this sentry position actually in a pretty good place. It's going to get spammed by that soldier, unfortunately. This is actually a pretty good hold so far. Oh, it's if they only have level 1 sentry. But I like the location. Yeah, it's a lot of a better, a lot more of a better possession than the other one they were using. The other one, as we know, had problems with sticky spam. This one, not so much. But you know, it was effective for a long time, which I thought is weird. It's it never, yeah. This is always the spot you see in pubs, I guess. The other one gets taken down too easily. Yeah. Aid's gonna go around to E, take out that scout who is harassing them, or at least get him off the point, I guess. So both teams have Uber at the moment, neither using it. Poor Giga. He saw so many backs, but he couldn't stab any of them. 
and gets uber sawed. That's an insult. Thompson's teeth po poking his head around the corner with his uber. Ubers are even, and Rincewind is doing exactly what he should. He can just air blast those people off the edge, and there's nothing much he can do. Except for maybe demo spam, but he can air blast his away as well. Yeah, that's what Red needs to do right now. They have five minutes left to hold this. Or E, for that matter. Thompson's teeth goes down, though. Uber comes up. Air Red blast. Air yeah, that is what needed to happen. Life lesson here. If you're going to Uber and take out that sentry, you need to go the other way. You need to come up that the ramp. The Mongoose doing the right thing and... Trying to sap, sap it down. The sentry well. As Uber comes in. Actually sapped it twice. It worked really well. They just weren't able to f follow up on it. Mongoose comes back again and saps it. Sentry will go down, actually. Spy gets the stab on kind of fun. Point's been held. Yeah. The sentry did its job. Four minutes and 15 seconds left. Teleporter is up for blue. As well as the level three sentry. I, I don't know if I actually agree with that sentry and dispenser placement since the dispenser will block the sentry's view of E. Or the E connector, excuse me. So we do see Cat of Fun on E at the moment. He is forced off. He's still jumping around like a maniac. He's going to go right after AIDS. Gets an AIDS face. He tries to take him out. I don't like having AIDS there to try to deal with Cat of Fun. Um, Demo versus Scout. Scout should win. Well, right now they just really need spam is what they're trying to go for. See, that's the point right there. Cat of Fun just got spammed down by AIDS. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I didn't realize the sticky st stuck to that point. My bad. It doesn't stick to the ramps. It doesn't stick to some points as well. It's kind of weird like that. Yeah, they placed an invisible wall basically over the point, so you can do that. The only difference is the ramps are technically static props. That's why nothing sticks to it. They're trying to defend Monk Scout. They're pulling out all the stops. Heavy getting air blasted by Earless Wonder Cat, who tries getting in there and gets taken out very easily. <laughs> Giga complaining that now that he's getting stabs, he's missing his headshots. <laughs> oh, poor Giga. Oreo looking for some headshots, not finding any, but Blue still trying to push on to the point. Jurati going... Yeah, Jurati going down, he does Jurati the sniper, the next out of there, though. Engineer is down... Unfortunately, the Uber's only at 15% at the moment, but they are on C, and Red is being pushed back very nicely. That is a lot of players, though. They're about to push right on to C. Medic goes down, Sniper goes down. It's up to this Pyro, basically. Er trying, to <laughs> trying to air blast the Heavy, but he gets stuck on the roof in the wall right behind him. They need to take out Slay. Yeah, right now, He's doing Slay. so much damage, and he's taken out. Good. They can hold. Yep, and there's two minutes left on the stopwatch timer. Two minutes and 40 seconds left on the actual timer. We're not going to care about that. So, yeah, so far, Red doing a nice job right now. They're basically doing the principle of don't get distracted by E. Yeah, this has been great defense. They've held this point for... How long has it been? Like, ten minutes? Um, I think it was eight. Still, that's, wow. Yeah, that's quite a lot of time to defend C. We may see a third round to this. Pyro still defending it. Level 3, back up. Rincewind really got his head in the game now. He's found his position. He's figured out what he's supposed to be doing. But Medic is down. Uber is popped. But the Medic is to run in front of it. Engineer picks up, but it goes down. Dispenser about to go down. Blue needs to push Rinse. right now. Pyro goes down, it's up to the med- Oh, but there's no main classes, so that backfires as well. Spy trying to get some headshots, he misses them. Sniper comes up, even. The heavy goes down, actually. Scout, sniper, on point. Scout and sniper trying to cap it, but the demo comes up. Count of fun, though, goes after the demo. He does not get the demo. Heavy, though, comes up and gets extinguished promptly. Red, this is an amazing defense right here. Pyro goes down. It's really up to this. Demo is going up. Not on Dabo, but Pyro is going up. Spy misses the stab. Pyro medic on the point. Oh, no, but the stab. Stab flubs it. 
20 Red seconds left. Up. The soldier and the demo. Spam is all I need. Yeah, uh, nuclear rushing going to go for it. Scout goes for it. 10 seconds left. They can technically do this still. They just get on it, but they have to get on now. No, that is going to be GG, I think. I don't think you can actually capture it in 5 seconds. Uh, it's going to be close. It's... Oh, no, that is it. GG. Oh, Giga. Oh, no, excuse me. What am I saying? That's not GG. Excuse me. Oh, no, they need two points to win. That's right. They'd have to capture E in order to win now. Uh, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed as well, but who cares? We haven't had something uh, like... We've never actually had this happen in DSGL. We have never actually had this happen. I should, I should know better. I should know better by now. But it doesn't matter. They have 15 seconds left. <laughs> These 15 seconds aren't nearly as exciting as the last ones. You're right, because <laughs> overtime, man. Overtime. <laughs> Spy, he should have stabbed the pyro! He doesn't do so, though. Big jump by Inventor of Beast Mode. Sentry goes down. Sticky Spam on point. Blue Sticky Spam going down. He's about to get stabbed. No! Ursa gets backstabbed by Giga. E getting captured. E is saving them right now. They need to get on C. And stop reading so loudly. No, I'm just kidding. Very good play by Catafun. Now they're on C. E is getting back. You're not getting back cap, but it decays quickly. So now it's up to C. It's up to Pyro. Pyro goes down, Sniper's on, Sniper goes down, big jump, Jurati heavy, heavy goes down, Demo and Soldier, Medic is Jurati, he gets out of there, Pyro, that's a lot of red team on it, yes, Red will defend successfully, great game, great game, that was amazing, so we are going on to the third and final round, it is best of three, folks, wow, I, wow, wow, so we are now preparing for overtime. And apparently configs are being restarted. That was incredible. A nice defense by Red. Supporting their engineer the entire game. Not letting Blue take an inch. Apparently the overtime is bugged. So, MVP of that round, what do you think? Oh... MVP right now. Yeah, right now I'd have to give it to Die and or AIDS. AIDS with those really big plays getting in there and just annihilating people. Die just overall doing an amazing game, applying pressure constantly, or at least as constantly as a soldier can. His score. Yeah, I have to give it to AIDS as well. He was putting some pretty great pressure onto the cliffs at sea. Yeah, big plays by AIDS there. I think it's very safe to say that if they did not have Die playing Soldier, um, they would have lost. Yeah, Die's score right now is a testament to his skill as Soldier, that is. In fact, it's kind of a testament to his skill in general. He's quite a good all-round player. Though, I'd like to point out, kind of fun, having a really strong game. It's hard to play Scout with this many players on the field. Especially on Steel, which is... I mean, it is a Scout heaven, but it's closed in kind of cramped corridors. Yeah. There's a lot of flanking routes, but it's, it's really cramped, yeah. Apparently some players still want to reset the config, although we have kind of confirmed that it works. The rocket is still attempting to launch on E. <laughs> so that sentry location actually worked out pretty well. I expect both teams will be using that location from now on. <laughs> That's what engineers tend to do. They see something <laughs> that the other engineer does and they copy it. Hey, well that's effective. So other than that... Still just waiting for both teams to ready up. We've seen some incredible defenses of C, actually. <laughs> Apparently C is by far the point you want to defend. Yeah, C is a hard place to capture. Um, when you go up the stairs, you can get an air blast away by the pyro. Um, a soldier can put heavy pressure onto 
cliffs, along with the Demo Man, which, I guess, Red's Demo Man was usually at E defending, which kind of different, but it seemed to work out really well, actually. You know, the sticky snipe onto the point and uh, deal 80 damage to offending scouts. It worked out pretty well. And then if you get past all of that, then they'll have the uh, sentry set up. Yeah, I feel like if that sentry... The biggest mistake we saw by Blue's part was they Ubered the Heavy up the staircase with the Pyro there, which immediately had them air blasted off. If you want to Uber to get that sentry, you need to go up right next to the sentry, that ramp, get through that doorway, mm -hmm. and the Pyro can't air blast you out of it. So it's a safe Uber and kill the sentry maneuver, unless he manages to wrangle repair it very successfully. Uh, what I think they're going to have to do is, uh, what Mongoose tried earlier, is they're going to have to... Uh, the first Uber in the Pyro, try to get, win the Air Blast War, have the Dome Man on the ground, spamming stickies, and then have the Spy trying to snap, uh, sap the sentry from another location. This is where Cloak and Dagger could even be somewhat useful. People say it's not useful, but you can hide indefinitely behind the Engineer, and when the Uber comes in, you can decloak, and there's nothing much you can do. If he's trying to repair the sentry from the Dome Man spam, uh, then he can't really turn around to whack you when you're trying to sap the sentry. Yeah. In this case, the Cloak and Dagger is useful on A. It allows you to hide on that corner right, the, by, right by their spawn door. Mm -hmm. And the only problem with indefinitely hiding behind the Engineer on C is that he often has a bunch of teammates right by him on C. So there's often a lot of oops, he bumped into me actions. Sorry, right, there we go. <laughs> Looks like we're finally going to get the final match going on here. Just a shout out to Rinkwin. Uh, he did a really great job that round. Hey, can you still hear me? It said auto disconnecting for a moment. Uh, yeah, I can still hear you. Okay, good. I have internet issues once in a while. We uh, know. Rinkwin <laughs> was able to air blast the uh, the enemy team off the cliff there, or off the off the stairways. And he did a really good job. He was crucial to the defense, which performed really well. Yep, he's finally found his position in life. <laughs> so here we go, we're going to see a fistful of uh, briefs defending once again. They're putting up their engineer in that kind of odd location on B again, kind of far back. Personally, if you have team support on B, the best place to put that sentry is actually... That staircase, which is much forward, or that little... I don't want to call no, it an alcove. Is... Well, yeah. It's I've a... never really seen that in competitive play, though. No, I've never seen it either. I'm just relating that from my pub experience. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. If you have, this... if you have team support. You need a Uber to get it out. If you have team support, you pretty much are A-OK -okay in that position, because Demo wouldn't have problems spamming up that corridor simply because of how that corridor is designed. Soldiers, kind of same but thing. The way, yeah. The way of getting it out, then, would be to take an Uber around from the other side. Try to take it out. Yeah. Of course, the interesting part, as usual, is getting the sentry up there. <laughs> if you try and defend A, <laughs> it means to interesting scenarios. So here we go. Round is beginning. Standard rollout for Blue, except for the fact their medic is nowhere to be seen at the moment. Where is their medic? Medic is cowering in the back, defending people. You know, I'd like to see a little three century defending A first. Yeah, the we haven't seen this. And the overlook. That's actually a pretty good spot. Yep, Medic goes down for blue team. Medic, actually, Medic's go back down for both teams. So we might see this hold going on a little bit longer than usual here, with no Medic to push or defend. Heavy going to push right forward here. Whatever a Fistful of Briefs did after their first game, it worked. Uh, but they really stepped it up. Yeah, they're doing a nice job here still, but they're about to get that point spammed and taken down quite easily. So they're all kind of trapped up in that alcove. Spam city, everyone! Spam that corridor! Good solid pressure, but Red is retreating over to B. 
Yeah, this is true. It is a fistful of briefs. Because it is the light speed briefs, they have not actually practiced or scrimmed once. <laughs> or excuse me, they have not <laughs> scrimmed once. Uh-oh, dangerous. Blue's trying to drop down. <laughs> the demo doesn't, doesn't detonate, detonate the stickies! The... Oh. Bit of a failure there. Can the red spy reclaim his glory days? <laughs> Giga coming on in here. Let's see if Giga can reclaim it for his team. And no, he can't. Two, two steps. Place the stickies and then detonate them. <laughs> he just wasn't able to... He didn't have a sight line. That was his problem. Really unfortunate. Yeah. So B just got lost ridiculously quickly. Heavy Medic going to try and reclaim this, actually. We're going to see Thompson's teeth coming on in here. He's coming around the corner. So he's... I don't think they can block this without Uber. Which they're really close, but not close enough. Yeah, no. B is lost, setting the time of 3 minutes and 4 seconds on the stopwatch for 2 points. Uber is popped for red on the engineer. On the engineer. Yeah. He finds the soldier, though, and the engineer is like, gung-ho, and immediately gets killed because of it. Now their Medic dies because the soldier left him. <laughs> <laughs> actual beast mode just jumping all over the place, killing people on the way. And unfortunately, he left his medic there. I don't think that was the smartest decision. I'm going to jump away from the medic and leave him to die. Trailblazer? No, he did what he needed to do. He's, he went after the blue medic. That's all he could really do in that situation. Well, he could kill the heavy that was trying to kill his medic. It's hard to kill heavies as a soldier. Um, if he's overhealed, which he probably is, it takes all your rockets plus a shotgun. I don't fast. think he was actually overhealed at the moment, but whatever. Okay. It's all so confusing. It happens so quickly. Yep. And Thompson's teeth goes down. Rincewind goes down as well. Red kind of weakened at the moment. Blue look like they want to push in. They have an uber advantage of about 20%. That level, that poor level one century, will it be given time to live? Spy goes in, goes for the sap. Important pick from dropout onto slay. That'll delay the push. Yeah, by quite a bit, actually. Ooh, red now quite far behind with the uber advantage. They're about 50% behind. That's actually a significant amount of time. Or, you know, I thought it would delay the push. Instead, it doesn't do anything. But there's that Uber I was talking about. They go up that corridor instead. Sentry goes bye-bye, but flanking Pyro, looking for the kills. Heavy finally notices the Pyro. Won't matter, though. Pyro goes down. It's now up to Thompson's teeth, who walks down the corridor. It's spam v. spam. But it'll be that Gerardi and a scout that will give them that win, at least. Spy is on the point, along with a sniper. Spam going down. AIDS gets Mitchell taken down. Boy dies afterburn. Lots of boys. He said sandwich. Lots of players down on both teams. We're down five at the moment for a fistful of briefs and only one actually for Suzu. Now there's some nice air blasting at the moment by Rincewind. He's trying to keep them off the point. He goes down though, getting ambassadored by Mongoose. Nice play there by Mongoose. C is officially captured, extending the ramps onto E. No one's even tried capturing it yet, but that is a sticky jumping Ursa going right past E and straight into D. But that is a lot of red team coming right at him. Catafun trying to jump out of there. He will manage to get out of there with 38 HP. Uh, AIDS goes down again. It's really important that he stays up. We see some blue team going from C to D here, going right by their spawn. Nuclear Russian, one of them spamming his entire way through. He's going to go down to Thompson's teeth, though, as he has no medic. Drop out way in the red at 10 HP. He picks up that health pack and goes straight on to E. We might see some flanking going on here. He's going to go into... No, he's going to come back from B and go into C, actually. He finds the level 3 and a heavy and runs the other way. <laughs> Heavies are not good for scout health. Blue is really disorganized. They need to push in as a unit. Yeah, we see Dropout looking for some picks. He does harass the heavy a little bit. He does take out Ursa, actually. A nice play there by Dropout. He's about to get taken out by the heavy, though. Uh, are you seeing the bug with the blue engineer? At the moment, I am not. We'll see what this bug is all about. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um. His very own buddy dispenser. <laughs> oh my god, that's ridiculous. Can he repair the dispenser? I don't know, it's just source TV, but it's... <laughs> yeah, he's turning, he's turning around and repairing where the dispenser actually is. 
If you don't know what we're talking about, go ahead and look at Wade Blazing Game. He is currently <laughs> carrying his dispenser everywhere. <laughs> OP. OP bug is OP. That's enough. Now let's go back to you. Oh, Uber Heavy goes flying off a cliff. His medic goes flying off a cliff as well. Apparently his medic felt like following his heavy into the pit. Yeah, and we were missing all the action on the point. Who cares? It's a bug. Everyone loves bugs. So anyway, Red successfully redeeming themselves on E. They've got Soldier Spam going down. Engineer trying to get up. He's looking for that medal. I think the soldiers took the medal, actually. Die saved the point right there. Here we go. It is Die versus the world. Heavy trying to spam him down. Pyro trying to spam him down. That's still a lot of blue on it. Heavy, Demo, Soldier, and Medic. Heavy goes off the cliff, though. Bye-bye, Heavy. It, um, we, okay, Soldier goes off. Inventor of Beast no, no Mode knocks himself off after a weird rocket jump. So that's still quite a bit of blue team. Not trying to capture D, trying to capture E. Kind of split up at the moment. Oh, the Spy walks off the cliff. Mongoose dies as well. Blue having a problem with cliffs right now. Cliff Mania. The mental disease about throwing yourself off a cliff. So we got... Yeah, uh, I don't like this decision by Sun Tzu. Um, they were attacking D, and they must have been trying it out for a while until they decided, no, this is not working, let's all push E. But in actuality, they weren't all pushing together to D. <laughs> uh, the problem was having the teleporter at C. If you put it at A, then you can all push through that same connector there. You can also push through E. You can harass both at once. Meantime, that was... I see this problem in pubs all the time. Yeah, splitting up your captures. Doesn't work too well. Yeah. It all comes down to the dispenser, whether you win the game or lose the game. Or, uh, teleporter, sorry. In the meantime, that was a very nice pick by nu by not by Nuclear Russian, but by Mongoose taking... or not Mongoose, but Giga taking out Nuclear Russian. So we're apparently they tried D again. They're still trying D again. They've got a heavy soldier, sniper, and medic all there. Sixty percent. They are pretty much uber even. But heavy goes down. Medic goes down. So much for that. This is not still the first half. Hungry. Thank God. If this were the first half, I'd have a heart attack. And he's not even in here to hear that anyway. I should just point out, Oreo Bear is winning the sniper duel over Biosync. Poor Biosync. Yeah. So Blue putting lots of players on D right now, but that's still a demo medic on the point. And they have Uber now, so if they need it, they have it. Uber's just starting to build for a Suzu again. <laughs> Sniper gets launched forward by a rocket Binosync with one HP. That was an amazing survival by Binosync there. Uber Heavy comes in, though. Tops in. T. Looking for that pyro. Oh, oh! That was bad. Great play by Wondercat to keep them both on the stickies. That... Wow. <laughs> that was incredible. That air blast. Cat being a Dodge King once again. Dodging all those rockets. He's jerodied even, and he's somehow still alive. Not for long, though. Finally... Finally, Aids catches up and will kill him. D is still being successfully defended. Over on E, though. E is... Well, I don't know what's going on with E at the moment. We've got Oreo Bear doing some sniping on E. Demo spamming E. They're splitting up between D and E again. This is still not a smart decision. You need to focus one or the other and not split. Walter, Walter, Walter's just having a terrible time trying to put up a, a sentry. Not a big surprise there. supposed to do far out. Well, it should be... It might be okay this time. Nope, you can still see it. Fully charged uh, shot from the sniper can take down the sentry. Demo medic spam on D. Spy going for the stab. He flubs it. Scout still trying to be a dodge king here. Pyro goes down. Scout goes down. Spy goes down. So right here, when the Uber runs out, we might see the cap, but heavy medic are coming down. Scout still being a pain in the ass. He's jumping around. Uh, actual Beast Mode is taken out, though, by Inventor of Beast Mode. We see the buff banner going down there. Pyro on point. Rincewind deep in the right. He goes down. Up top, we have the heavy. Thompson's teeth poking his head around, looking to stop them. But that is still a lot of blue on the point. Soldier goes down, trying to I run know away. A great snipe. Uber has popped on D, so that no cap of D. Sorry. 
<laughs> no, that was my bad. You were you were on a roll. That was a great snipe by Biosync. That's a difficult one to get off um, because you can't really follow the head in a straight line. It goes zigging and zagging everywhere. So kudos to Bino. Looks like they're trying for E again, splitting their forces again. How many times do we have to tell you, stop splitting forces? <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> Pyro versus Demo, the classic spam down. Yeah, it all comes down to that teleporter. <laughs> Don't you just love when engineers put teleporters on D when your team hasn't captured E yet? It works so well. <laughs> Just watching the blue team teleporter exit. Half the team is going through E, half the team is going through red spawn. Yeah, ambiguously it's placed deep. teleporters don't work so well. Well, I guess it were fine if they just said, we're pushing D. This is how it is. Yeah, communication breakdown. Poor blue. <laughs> you know, communication breaks down after 10 minutes. Yeah, it's I'm painful. So we've got a minute 30 seconds left to capture D or E. E is actually being actively captured times four, but the Uber's coming on in here. Uber soldier, Ursa gets taken out, nuclear Russians down as well. Well, Medic is in the red. He's at 25 HP with 25%. There we go, no longer in the red. Drottied heavy, no longer drottied either. So E over halfway cap, but it is decaying at this point. We're going to see Catafun run around to D instead. So D now being left alone. He flanks the heavy medic. Medic goes down. He gets a headshot from Oreo Bear. Nice headshot from Oreo Bear. Now this is crunch time. 53 seconds left. Yep, they are trying to capture E. They've got times three on it. If that sniper just steps on it, where is Oreo Bear going? He's trying to kill the engineer. Yeah, no. Demo spam down on points, so that's going to be a fail push for E. 30 seconds left. Soldier out in the middle of nowhere. Actual Beast Node taking on the world. He manages to get the heavy nuclear Russian. He has to fall back now. <laughs> Grabs the health, and where's he going to go, actually? <laughs> He's going to flank the Engineer, and the Engineer is not in a good position. No, he's not. No, he's not going to flank the Engineer. He's going to go the other way. Just stay in that corridor in between C and E. Or not C and E, but B and E, excuse me. This is going to be really difficult with that level... Never mind. <laughs> goes down. Yeah, never mind. Good job, Ursa. <laughs> so Slay Tanaka, a.k.a. Ursa, coming out here. Ooh, we have a pause in the future. We are predicting the future. There is a pause. Now, that was a great angle by Slay. I didn't... I never really thought about that. Demo Minsky's from the bottom level. Dim pauses. Must have done that at some point. So we're going to go around and do our usual analysis. Scout on D. He is dangerously close to capturing it. Kind of fun. He is getting spammed down by the heavy. He has 100 HP, though, so I think we're going to see that cap happen. Uh, keep in mind that this uh, pause is two minutes in the future, so... Um, yeah. Well, yeah, I know. We're just looking at what's happening right now. I mean, so everything that's where it is is technically where it is still. So I'm saying Catafun is going to capture D here. E is dangerously close. Heavy can go around quickly. I mean, if Thompson's T turns around fast enough, they could potentially stop E. Unfortunately, E is really close as well, unless that's a bug with the UI. That's a bug with the UI, yeah. Yeah. So actually, the points keep on getting captured. I mean, they're not technically getting captured, but they're still technically full. You'll need to throw in heavy load scheme uh, once it unpauses. Yeah, I know. I have it bound to a key for a reason. <laughs> yeah, me too, actually. So, yeah, Catafun, we don't actually know how close he is. Hopefully he'll get the cap. I mean, he has 100 HP. He's a Dodge King. He can technically cap that. It was pretty close, if I recall. Yeah, and Biosync respawns in negative 108 seconds. Ah, bugs. Everybody loves bugs. Yeah, Sir CV has a lot of bugs. Like, engineers with dispensers. Carrying them around everywhere. 
It's okay. Besides that, your advanced spectator hood has bugs as well. That should totally be a new item. A dispenser you can carry around with you as an engineer. It would follow you everywhere. Or it would be a hat. A I, dispenser hat. No, no, no. Like a dispenser backpack. <laughs> yeah. It replaces your pistol or some ridiculous stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, it would really, be really great with uh, mini sentries. As long as you don't need the Wrangler. <laughs> See, at the moment, Blue's still splitting their forces rather stupidly. <laughs> so, the best fences we have seen so far... Um, Lots of I C. Think in rank. Yeah, yeah, C was the best one, followed by D, followed by then maybe A, followed then by B. There we go, unpause has occurred. Neither point is captured in Red Winds! <laughs> <laughs> you weren't expecting that. Yeah, wasn't expecting that, you're right. That was really awkward. <laughs> it's a weird time to pause. I hope the medics didn't drop, or one of the medics didn't drop. Yeah, two minutes in the future, so that means round will be a minute and 15 seconds? Mm. About, yeah. Actually, no, less than that. Yeah. Maybe around the 50 second mark. So, let's see what the engineers are doing this time! <laughs> what, what, what is the engineer doing? Wait, Wade? I don't know, I'm just flying around in circles. Wade, what are you doing? Focus. Okay, there we go, Wade going over to B. So yeah, we're gonna see the engineer setting up in the exact same place as usual! Oh my god! No. So that unpredictable! That hasn't worked ever. Ever is correct, my friend. My bovine friend. <laughs> so there we go, round okay. has begun. That is a lot of blue coming out of that door very quickly. Spam. By the way, Giga sees the infrared engineer, so absolutely no surprise that be. Counter Uber has to be popped. Soldier Uber, because their heavy went down too quickly. Uber is done, though, so that soldier goes down, or medic goes down quickly. Soldier left alone, so we're about to see their soldier and vendor of Beastmo go down to... Wow. Eight out of nine, almost a full team wipe for Red there. Yeah, beast mode not going beast enough. Is that another pause? Yeah, that's another pause. Yeah, that would be another pause, yeah. Ah. So both teams have now used their official pause in the final round. Apparently we're having lots of connection issues. And we haven't we haven't even caught up to the other pause yet. <laughs> yeah. They've already captured A and we haven't caught up to the pause. <laughs> that spells trouble. I never like to see a person have connection issues like that. Especially when A's already been captured. Might not be the same person though. Might just be two different people. Hopefully, on opposite teams and playing the same class, that would be absolutely the fairest. <laughs> Things like that usually don't happen, though. The network yeah. gods work in funny ways. Dim pauses. So yes, we might as well go around and look at hats now. Who do we think has the best hat? Uh, I don't know. Most of Red Team are dead. True. Like in that Ghastly Gibbous, unpainted, on made Blazing Game. Um, for Blue Team, if I had to give it to anyone, I might have to give it to Thompson's Teeth. <laughs> he, yeah. His unusual... Yeah. <laughs> With the specs, just looks way too cool. Yeah. What is that? The heavy's Ushanka? If I recall its name correctly. So yeah, we'll go back to actual players. Currently we're seven dead on Suzu. Not looking too good for Red. <laughs> How we fare and over it B, the level three is up. Being supported by a sniper, the only other living class. <laughs> Oh, 
Dumpty dums. Any day now, pause. <laughs> Players can stop crashing now. I like Oreo Bear's shirt. So of course the What item is that? Oreo Bear, Oreo Bear. Ah yes, the sniper. Is it the plaid one? Ah yes, it is that one. Um, don't actually recall its name. <laughs> no. I've inspect bound it to nothing, I think. I don't have it on anything. Technically, my inspect is currently 14,000 units off my screen. <laughs> I got sick of the inspect, yeah, inspect screen during competitive play. It would keep popping up over... Usually it was the red team's advanced spectator hood, so I just moved it 17,000, not 17,000, but 14,000 units off my screen and said, Goodbye! Never have to see you again. <laughs> That's part of the game. You gotta see what they're wearing. Usually I can recall by name. There we go, the pause has ended. A, actually not as capped as we thought, but it does cap. Well, the, the pause has actually been declared for red team here. DFD needs to get better internet. Yeah, the Art of Rar was the person who dropped. He's officially rejoined. I like how AIDS declares assholes. <laughs> Apparently there was no countdown. Oh, there's the other drop? What? We're... No, uh, they didn't pause for this one. The, the pause will be two minutes in the future, I think. Or a minute and a half now. Yeah, apparently we didn't actually pause for this one. Kind of an awkward non-pausing moment. I mean, red team has used up their pause, and I guess blue team just doesn't feel like pausing out of the good of their hearts. Should point out that Lane now has three dominations. He's having a really solid round. Yeah, right now this is a very successful defense of B so far, but we're going to see the push coming in here. Catafun gets flared by Rincewind. That is a nice flare, especially on a moving scout. Counter Uber and Uber coming in here. Big Uber fight. Red Uber pushing right forward. Blue Uber running back into the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Great Uber. Um, AIDS did everything he was expected to do and more. Yep, he ran back. So here we go. That's a lot of blue team right next to the point, but they still have that heavy. Medic is down. Kind of a fail snipe. He's going to go in for the Drotty Chop, but he misses it as he gets gunned down by Nuclear Russian. Medic's about to go down. No, Nuclear Russian gets a missile in the face from actual beast mode, but a nice stab from Mongoose. He's trying to get out of there. He runs right into the scout and he's going to hide in the corner. <laughs> Grabs the health. Yep, and Giga gets rocketed down by Inventor of Beast Mode. So this is indeed a successful defense. There is the Crash Thompson Teeth. Yep, and they would have paused for this. Yeah. Indeed, we did apparently pause. And we have a bit of... I don't even know what we have going between here. Apparently Red didn't give a countdown in the first place. Now Blue said we're returning the favor. No countdown for you. <laughs> yeah. They might just be teasing, but... I don't know. Yeah, they were teasing. Because they actually did have a countdown that time. Level 1 sentry going back up. Heavy's going to push right up and probably mow it down. No, it gets wrangled at the last moment. <laughs> and Heavy actually gets a bullet in the brain from Oreo Bear. Nice job. So right now, Blue is being held in their spawn, pretty much. Blue has Uber. They'll be moving out any moment now. Yep, Ursa... sentry's only level 2. Ursa spamming that corner. It's going to be an Uber Demoman coming in here. AIDS going to take out that sentry very quickly. Nope, or not? Right. No, he's, he's not. He's wrench and repair it, but nobody wants the pyro. Oh. <laughs> pyro. Rinswin flanking. Yeah, Rinswin just flanks the sentry easily and kills it. In the meantime, Red Engineer's down. We're down five for a fistful of briefs and four for Suzu. Yeah, that's the thing about having a wrangled sentry. Everyone focuses it so you can just clean up after, after the Uber expires. Uh, the defending team can clean up, I mean. So yeah, Red's going to have uh, not too large of an uber advantage, about 17% there. You see their heavy medic kind of pushing around. <laughs> They're staring at Catafun through the fence. 
kind of fun um, awkwardly standing on the fence, providing a little bit of harassment. It's actually a pretty interesting place to stand. A little scout scout here on the staircase. Drop out. Not getting the better of this, though. He's forced to pull out, and it's now heavy against scout. Cat is forced out of there. He's going to bonk his way out. Level 3, you know, I don't know, level 3, but level 2 sentry. Bonk Scout not quite being the distraction he meant to be. No, Bonk, Bonk Scout hasn't been really effective at all. Um, especially with a the Wrangler there. Well, the biggest problem with that was that his team didn't come forward and support the Bonk Scout having the sentry not shoot anyone. That's okay, Blue Team has plenty of time. They shouldn't rush this. It shouldn't get complacent either, but there's no need to suicide people in every time you don't have an Uber. Well, yeah, they need everyone alive to make the push. And this was both their team's plan all along. The defense of B hasn't worked out until this point. Yeah, right now it's working quite well. We're at the three-minute mark. And a fistful of briefs still has to capture three points, including B. Or I guess they could just capture E, but we never see that happen. Mm -hmm. Sentry goes down. Engineer goes down, trying to put it back up. He gets gunned down. Heavy in the meantime, he gets backstabbed. Dropout gets shotgunned, and AIDS gets um, taken out by Cat of Fun. Nuclear rushing a bit out of place. He's back by E, coming back to B. Those were important stabs. Yep, very nice picks coming down there. Nuclear Russian gonna not pursue back to easy. You know, let the pyro do that. Smart decision there, and <laughs> stop getting distracted. Scout gonna go to E as well. We're he's what? Okay, Nuclear Russian, it's a scout. You don't need to pursue him. <laughs> nuclear Russian <laughs> constantly getting distracted off of B. Not too smart there. Bino Sync looking for headshots over by their spawn. Gonna miss. She does get the headshot on the heavy, but it's not a kill shot. Great reaction by Thompson's teeth to kick out. Kind of fun. Scouts can give a heavy a lot of trouble because of that quick burst damage. Dropout gets afterburned by Earless Wondercat back behind B. Rincewind gets body shotted by Oreo. That is a nice gameplay. Oreo gets afterburned by Rincewind, though. My god, we're down 7 out of 9 for Suzu Fu right now. So it looks like we're going to lose B very quickly here. Rocket Jumping Soldier trying to hold it at the last moment. Going to fail miserably, though. So yes, that is the capture of B. Two points remain, and they have 4 minutes and 30 seconds to capture it. Well, uh, I think it's important to note that uh, Turnip, the Art of War, Whoa. is actually subbing for DFG now. I think it's also important to point out that there's a level 3 sentry from Blue on C. <laughs> <laughs> well played, well played. It's a bit too far up. It's going to get sniped. Well, no, it's actually in a fairly good position, actually. It covers the left doorway, and it covers the right doorway quite easily as well. So that's a free capture of C. The most easily defended point we've seen this entire match just got captured in about 30 seconds. Wow. Wow. One point remaining, and D is already about one-fifth captured. It's deteriorating quickly. We're going to see Blue probably push right through C. Here we go. They are pushing right through the CD connector. Going right by Spawn Thompson's teeth. They'll get spammed down by Ursa. It looks like Blue's going to reconsider. No, they're going to continue pushing. The Art of Raw declaring real beast mode. Pyro is on D. They need to get on D. Where are they going? Demo going right after that sentry, actually. AIDS taking out... Um, Wade Blazing Game on E, D getting captured, times three, Nuclear Rushing gets taken out, Scout trying to be the harassment, he needs to be, E getting captured as well, and Both that, century going up on. yeah, that's a lot of blue, so they I think, it, they win. that is GG, folks, blue is going to capture D, and they're going to take it, it is going to be a fistful of biscuits, taking the first rep match of Steel. So, Lightspeed wow. Briefs have suffered yet another loss. They're now 5-2 and two instead of 5-1. and one. That's kind of humiliating for them, I'd imagine. They shouldn't feel bad about this game. It was really close, especially that second round. Yeah, that was an amazing overtime. 
that that second round was, yeah, <laughs> wow. So walk on over. See, so yeah, right now, we're just going to continue a little bit of post right here. Amazing games by both teams. That demo spam by AIDS is going to be considered legendary as far as I care, because why not? Die doing his usual die and being amazing. Going out there and not dying. AIDS, what a maverick. Just walks into places and kills everyone. Hey, because why not? Understand. He just flanks. That works somehow. Who's your call for MVP match? Um, in this case, I'm probably going to give it to AIDS after his final round of gameplay there. And once again, big plays, big picks, big everything from AIDS there. He goes big. I have to give it to Trailblazer. He had like five dominations at one point. He's the reason his team won that second round. Yeah, I, I got to admit that Dai was doing an amazing job there. Well, one of the reasons. There were a lot of good things going on there. Oh yeah, everything kind of pulled together there on that second round. It's unfortunate, I mean, a fistful of briefs, they did do a great job of coming back and really pulling it together on that second round. Unfortunately, pulling it back together on the second round, and eh, not so much when you lost the first round, and then you kind of lost the third round. <laughs> yeah, that, that first round was pretty dominant, but they couldn't carry it through. I don't actually think we have any admins laying around. I'm so disappointed. Do we have any admins laying around? We have no admins laying around in TeamSpeak. <laughs> Yay. All right, I'm. What do you need done? Post game interview. Yep, I would love to have done that, but <laughs> as I said, there's no admins laying around. Oh. I have. Whoops. Hungry is online. Eh, I don't have time to wait for Hungry, so we're gonna skip the post game interview today. I'm gonna go bother Maiko about giving casters the ability to grant p talk powers because you know what? Why not? So we're gonna continue on into the post stuff. The next match is going to be tomorrow at 8 p.m. It is going to be between going to be between the Deadly Snails and uh, Skid and Milk and Cookies. I don't even know what I would call that at the moment. So I have no idea. <laughs> yep, no idea what I'm going to call that. Thank you guys for watching who did. If you weren't watching, if you were doing something else and you don't really care, I've been recording all of this since I upgraded to XSplit. I will be uploading this to YouTube. I recommend going and checking that out because I have added some random little features to it here and there. So thank you all for watching, and please have a good evening, have a good night, and go play TF2 or something like that.